Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball six box half case random team break number three. A couple combos right here. No vet common ship. And I, we're just looking for rookies and prospects as, as usual with the Contenders brand. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting in. Appreciate it. And there are the combos right there. Orioles, Royals are comboed up, and Marlins and Rangers are comboed up. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Five and a one, six times for each list. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sixth and final time. After six times, we've got Kevin down to Tyler. After six. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And sixth and final time. After six, we got the Orioles, got both combo teams, top and bottom. The Orioles Royals combo team on top, and the Marlins Rangers combo team on the bottom. All right, so Kevin M. with the Orioles-Royals combo, Jonathan with the Astros, Matt Gomes with the White Sox, Shannon Fleeson with the Red Sox, Aaron with the Nats, Brian with the Brew Crew, Jens with the Cardinals, Eric with the Giants, Lloyd with the Braves, Sam with the Rays, Brian with the Twins, Last Spot Mojo, Aaron with the Mets and Diamondbacks, Robert with the Angels, Jonathan with the Reds, Matt with the A's, Shannon with the Pirates, Jonathan with the Padres, David with the Phillies, Jonathan with the Cubs, Matt with the uh, Rockies, Eric with the Indians, Brian with the Mariners, Nico with the Yankees, Jonathan with the Tigers, Alan with the Blue Jays, Chad with you got the world champion, Los Angeles Dodgers, and Tyler K with the Marlins and Rangers combo. Let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B. I'm going to flip away from the screen just for a second, and then we'll allow for a little bit of trading time. I'm going to pop this open right here. Fresh case. So we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side on the dice roll. We'll go Dodger blue right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. These we will save for next time. All right, we'll, pull, we'll put those wild and crazy slash marks right there squiggly so you know that they're from the same side from the same case in fact we probably should be able to run that back uh tonight at some point all right let's flip back here we're going to pause the video when we come back we're going to see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break stick around brb all right welcome back folks a little bit of trade chatter but at the end no deals were done here on the 3rd of November, random team number three, 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball. Second half is in the store. Big thanks again to all of these folks for getting into the action. We really appreciate it. There it is. We're looking for six autographs. We're looking for guys like that. Luis Robert, Brendan McKay, Gavin Lux, among others. Nice, Prim. Great. We'll get those. We'll go through orders after this, and we'll uh, we'll see which one sold out first. This should take about thirty minutes or so. So it's baseball award season, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone have any predictions on the on the awards? I think they did like finalists. Who are the, let me, let's see if I could dig up some finalists. We got MVP, Cy Young, Rookie of the Year, and Manager of the Year finalists. NL finalists for rookie or for uh, Most Valuable Player: Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Manny Machado. Who does everyone have in that? NL. MVP finalists, Betts, Freeman, and Machado. As, as a fan of this, 
I'm going to say Mookie, but I think Freddie Freeman actually had the better the better season. I think that might be a close vote between those two players. Out of 149, there's Jose Ramirez. And we got rookie roundup, Kyle Garlick, speaking of my Dodgers. That goes to Chadwick with my boys in blue. Freeman should be, to be honest, is John Baker. I think the Dodgers will win the Commissioner's Trophy. I think so, too. We got Jalen Davis for my rivals, the Giants, Eric J. Let's see, what about AL? MVP finalists, Jose Abreu, DJ LeMahieu, Jose Ramirez. There's Jalen Davis right here, once again for Eric J and the Giants. John Baker says Abreu better win AL MVP. I think he's got it, doesn't he? He had a great season. These purple parallels are not common, so they will ship, by the way. Here's Bobby Miller, draft pick, autograph. Four... Or I think I have a checklist up, thankfully. Bobby Miller is a Dodger. I did not realize he was a Dodger draft pick. Do I have post-it notes here? All right, so another Dodger going to Chadwick. Los LAD, Los Angeles Dodgers. No kid reporter cards in this, Curtis. This is this is baseball. There's Adley Rushman. Nice. Ooh, out of 15. 8 out of 15 for the guy that might turn around the fortunes of the Baltimore Orioles. Kevin M. has the Orioles-Royals combo. Nice. I think Abreu's got it. Oh, thanks, Brad. What about Cy Young, AL Cy Young finalist, Shane Bieber, Kenta Maeda, Hyunjin Ryu, two former Dodgers on that AL Cy Young finalist list? I think it's going to be Shane Bieber, though. He had a ridiculous season. There's Lewis Thorpe for the Twins, Brian Kraus. So I guess maybe that's easier than I thought. Uh, NL finalist, Trevor Bauer, Yu Darvish, and Jacob DeGrom. I feel like Bauer gets that. did Bauer get that? For the NL, I feel like that's kind of chalk. There's Alika Williams draft pick. How big a box do we have to get for Arturo? Oh, did he hit big over the week? I didn't. I didn't notice. If he did, then yeah, maybe, maybe a giant box for him. Alika Williams is a Tampa Bay Ray. TBR. Both of the redemptions were of uh, the World Series teams. Tampa Bay Rays, that's going to go to Sam. Sam S. with that. Salaburo. Good to see you, Sam. I haven't seen that name across my desk in a little while. Don't, don't they need to ki kids to cover all sports? No, they don't. Just, just the Super Bowl. I don't, I don't know. They have not extended the kid reporter program to all the other major sports, Curtis. Which maybe they should. All right. What about manager of the year? We've got AL finalists: Kevin Cash, Charlie Montoya, Kevin Cash for the Rays, Charlie Montoya for Toronto, and Rick Renteria for the White Sox. I did see that earlier today, where Rick Renteria, who got fired. Who was, who was fired and replaced by Tony La Russa is also manager of the year. The White Sox had a nice tweet for, uh, for Rick Renteria. You're a manager of the year, but you're fired. Thanks for your service to the, to the team. I don't know. A manager of the year, what do you think? That, that I'm not too sure who's... I mean, both the White Sox and the Blue Jays definitely... 
you know, overachieved, I think. We're, they were ahead of schedule. There's Aaron Judge to 149. So I wonder if it's going to be one of those two teams, the White Sox or the, or the Blue Jays. This Diamondback going to Aaron Pettit with the Ryan Nelson. Ryan Nelson, Ryan Nelson, or Ryan Nelson? How do you think you pronounce it? I guess he's just meat until he's in the majors, right? NL finalists, Don Manningly, Miami, David Ross, Chicago Cubs, and Jace Tingler for uh, San Diego. Here's another Jalen Davis for Eric J. Giants. Hmm. Maybe Don Mattingly there? I think the Miami Marlins definitely overachieved. Got to think. Got to think. Management has something to do with that. He kind of navigated the whole Miami Marlins getting COVID and not playing for a week situation. Got them back and focused. He might get some credit for that. There's Bobby Miller again for the Dodgers. It's like the same box from the first one. That'll be for Chadwick. And we got another Dodger, Gavin Lux, on card autograph. That's a nice one. There's your, your future second baseman for the Dodgers. Chadwick Galloway with that. Oh, Allen's already going come on Toronto. It's a little early for that. We're we're only a box and a half. Maybe come on Toronto starting here, Allen. Maybe you're around there. <laughs> There's uh, Ismail Mena for the Padres. That'll be for John Baker. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Alan will just repeat. All right, maybe it'll work. We got Alika, that's almost the same box outside of two, two autographs. 11 out of 18, Alika Williams going to the Tampa Bay Rays. Did he go did he go from a Sun Devil into a Devil Ray? Although they're not Devil Rays anymore, but Next box. Anyone else have any thoughts on the uh, on the MLB awards? I think Brad's got Manager of the Year written down for you. He's got Cy Young's written down for you. Oh, do we have our Rookies of the Year announced yet? Did we not go through Rookie of the Year? I thought we did. Where's that list? Oh, there we go. Okay, NL Rookie of the Year. I wasn't really paying attention to the NL all that much. NL Rookie of the Year is going to be Alec Baum from Philadelphia, Jake Cronenworth for San Diego, and Devin Williams from Milwaukee. I think it's got to be Jake Cronenworth. At least he, he's probably the public pick. Oh, were they announced already? Winners announced Monday, November 9th. No, they are not announced already. Oh, you're saying the finalists are announced. Yes, yes, yes. The finalists are announced. There you go. Thanks, Brad. Um, and the NL, or the, that was NL, AL finalists are Christian Javier for Houston, Kyle Lewis, Seattle, and Luis Robert for the Chicago White Sox. Ooh, that's a close one. I've heard some Seattle fans make strong cases for Kyle Lewis because 
I mean, even though Luis Robert's been getting the hype, there's Eduardo Rodriguez for Boston to 149. And there's Willie Castro for Detroit. Rookie auto for John Baker and the Tigers tried to trade couldn't trade Mojo. Dennis Morris got Lewis for the AL Rookie of the Year. I feel like he has the better numbers. But does they are base, baseball writers are the ones voting for this. Right? Not numbers. There's Josh Fleming for the Tampa Bay Rays. So what what would the who will the writers pick? I feel like it's one of those things where Kyle Lewis should win it, but the baseball writers will pick Luis Robert. Full take. Uh, you know, you know how those riders are. Hey, if you finish it, you're back at two thirty. Here's Patrick Sandoval. What's that? If you finish it, you're back at two thirty. Who, Luis Robert? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was that bad. Actually, I might be. Tripping. Patrick Sandoval, Angels, Robert. We got Pete Alonso to ninety nine for the Mets. And Jordan Alvarez, on-card autograph, 54 out of 75. One of the big up-and-coming prospects for the Astros. John Baker, another tried-to-trade, couldn't-trade mojo. How many teams would you have traded, John, for the White Sox? Or was it just a one-for-one -one deal? I don't think a one-for-one -one deal would have cut it. There's Mauricio Dubon. Three out of ten rookie ticket autograph. For my rivals, the Giants, Eric J has the Giants. Uh, we got gold glove finalists too from Brad. The gold gloves are the worst. I feel like there's really no, so much of the gold glove is based on uh, reputation as opposed to actual numbers, but it's hard to really get good defensive numbers, right? You expect Jake, there's Jake Rogers for the Tigers, John Baker. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to try to get, uh, get riders to look up defensive runs saved, put outs, fielding percentage? There's too much that goes, goes into it. John would have traded two or three teams for the White Sox. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Good luck, next one. But we got gold glove. Brad's copying down the gold gloves. Pitchers, Griffin Canning, Kent Maeda, exactly. See, I don't know how I'd even, how, how I would even do that. I'd have to look up so many numbers. No worries, Roger. Is that sold out already? The choice? I like Ramon Laureano on that list right there. I feel like he's a good, he's a gold glover, right? All right, there's Altuve to 149. And Miguel Amaya. For the Cubbies, Jonathan Baker. He says he's a huge Chicago fan, but I don't think he's a Cubs fan, right? Chicago White Sox fan. Southsider. And Big Hit Express there. All right, so we'll get add all that to the schedule once I'm done with all this, ladies and gentlemen. So stand by. Logan Webb, another giant for Eric. Rookie ticket autograph. So 33 sold out before 32, making 32 the final case. And then we'll run the uh, we'll run that break credit promo after we fill the last break. We've got Casey Martin, draft pick, nine out of twenty-three, cracked ice autograph. These are always nice, the cracked ice. Oh no, that's Casey Mize. What about? Casey Martin is a Philadelphia Philly.
and that will be for David Baker, a different Baker. With the Phillies cracked ice, so hopefully he becomes a superstar. And then we got Austin Hendrick, another draft ticket on card. This one's an on card. Both are on card? I think both were on card autographs. And Austin Hendrick is a Cincinnati red leg. He goes to uh, Jonathan Baker. Nice. John Baker with another hill. All those teams that he tried to trade. We got Bryce Elder for the uh, Braves. Lloyd with the Braves. Oh, no worries, Roger. We always try to always try to little add a little extra level of spice on our breaks. There is Yiddy Cap. So I'm going to go with. Could be Cape. Not sure. But that goes to Miami. That'll be for Tyler K. With the Marlins Rangers combo. All right, second to last box. Good luck. Anyone have any predictions on those MLB awards? I think if you scroll up a little bit, Brad L. has has written down some gold glove candidates, other award possibilities as well if you want to check that out. I think that AL Rookie of the Year award is going to be really interesting. All right, good luck. Swig, what's going on? And we've got Christian Pache. Nice, great prospect ticket on card autograph for Lloyd and the Braves. That's nice. And there's Bobby Bradley, one out of five. Wow, rookie ticket autograph for the Tribe, Eric J with the Cleveland Indians. Out of fives and under, as most of you may know, get the world famous train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. And we've got rookie ticket autograph. We got Yu Chang. What? No, Yu Chang, different Chang? Yeah, no, Yu Chang for Cleveland. Why does it say? That kind of threw me off. There's a break schedule that's uh, posted right above your chat. That's how you know what's being broken tonight. Everything on jazbeescasebreaks.com except for uh, Except for pre-orders. I don't know why it says San Francisco there, but it's going to go to Cleveland. Yeah, some sort of variation, though. Must be. Anyway, tribe with that one, Eric J. Got draft ticket. Um, Garrett Cole to 99. I'm assuming that's a short print. Yeah, on the checklist it says uh, Yu Chang rookie ticket base two, and then base two variation A. So there's a, there's a lot going on there for him. 
I wonder if there. I wonder if there was a. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> to be honest with you, I wonder if San Francisco drafted him first, but he ended up not signing with them and went to. I don't know. I don't know enough about the Yu Chang story. And there's Anthony K for Toronto. There you go, Alan Murdoch. See, second to last box. Go to Alan. There you go, Alan. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate it. And we got Pablo Reyes for Pittsburgh. That's going to go to Shannon Fleeson and the Buccos, the Pirates. And we got Daniel Cabrera from LSU, draft ticket autograph. That's right, Alan. Toronto on the board. This is a Tiger, Detroit. That's going to go to John Baker. All right, so there you go, John. He was definitely drafted by and has only been an Indian, says Ryan Harold. So maybe an error card? Yeah, maybe it's just an error then. All right, final box. Let me sleep up this Garrett Cole right here. Okay, good luck. Who was a rubbered up? Is that a minor league team? The Akron Rubber Ducks. One of my biggest regrets in life, ladies and gentlemen, and I do not have many, but one of the biggest regrets in life is not seeing the giant rubber duck in the uh, LA Harbor, the San Pedro Harbor. There's Nick Gonzalez, draft pick autograph. Nick Gonzalez is a pirate. That's another pirate for Shannon F. There you go, Shannon. Thank you. Ooh, look at this. Randy Arozarena. Draft ticket autograph 63 out of 75 for Sam Salabura and the Tampa Bay Rays. What a postseason he had. Woo! Is that, is that auto all on the sticker? I think, no, the top is a little off in the bottom too, but... Ballparks can't contain him. How do you expect a sticker to contain him? All right, there you go, Sam. Congrats to you. And we got an Adbert Alzole draft ticket autograph. 63 out of 75 for the Northsiders. And that goes to John Baker, who tried to trade all of his teams for the White Sox, but I guess he has to end up with all these hits. He might trade now. <laughs> we might trade now. There's an abandoned, Ryan Harold saying there's an abandoned rubber duck factory in Cleveland, so I'm assuming that's what the Akron rubber ducks are named after. Are there abandoned rubber ducks that I can go get? There's Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs, Cracked Ice is 23. Are there just rubber duck carcasses just laying around? Rookie uh, roundup, Keen Wong for the Giants. That's going to be for Eric J. Keen? Or Keen. I think this is this Colton's brother? I think I feel like there's a Colton connection there. All 
All right, and we got Brock Burke for Texas. That'll be for the Rangers Marlins combo, Tyler K. And do we have one more? And I'll do a quick recap in a second. I think we might have one more. We do. And it's Brustar Gradoral on card autograph for the world champion Dodgers, Chadwick Galloway. Throws a, throws a pretty heavy ball. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good. Maybe future closer, or maybe they turn him into a starter. I don't know. We'll find out next year, folks. No randomizers. That was half case random team three of 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball. Thanks. I mean, the, the Rosarino is great. The second half is already in the store. If you want to get that going, we've got train whistles, Christian Pache. This is a great half. Cracked ice. That second half could be just as hot. Looking at a hot case right here. So thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. We really appreciate it. Kyle Garlic right there at the end. There you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.